Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, it's the last day of my short weekend and I'm going back tomorrow to start my long work week. What I want to do today is this. I talked to my mom a couple days ago on the phone and she just finished uh, watching one of the recent live streams. And during that live stream, we kind of got into the topic of cast iron cookware. And I said, yeah, I don't really have any cast iron cookware. And some people were recommending that I should get some. Well, my mom was kind of intrigued by this. And she said she wanted to get me some cast iron cookware. Now, since it's kind of hard for her to go out and do shopping, what she suggested is I go out and find something that I want, get it, and then she would reimburse me. So what I'm going to do today is go out and look for some stuff. Um, I don't know exactly where to go, but there's a bunch of different places in the area that might sell it. And uh, I just want to go out and look around. And even if I don't find it in each, at every store, it'll still be kind of a fun place to go. So let's go do a little shopping. Looks like most of the blue bonnets are blooming a little bit here. So that's kind of fun. And the one or two that I see that aren't yet uh, have buds on them. So they will be soon. All this seems to be doing really well out here. So this is gonna be the first place I check out. I've been here a couple times. I love this little store. So even if they don't have cast iron cookware, you know, it's still fun to wander around here. Um, I got my um, swamp cooler here. I also got that kind of fun little kinetic sculpture that I have in the backyard here. So, you know, we'll wander around, see what they got. And if they don't, we'll go somewhere else. But let's start here. If nothing else, I'll have to remember this place for uh, pellets for my pellet grill. They got all sorts of stuff here. Holy cow, they got more than Home Depot or Lowe's. And this will be the place I go if I ever need to get chickens here. Because they got little, they often have uh, chickens here. They got a bunch of different varieties of them too. So, yeah, we'll check this place out when I'm ready for chickens if I ever do that. All right, no luck there, uh, but you know what? I wasn't 100% certain I'd find anything there. But like I said, it's just a fun place to wander around. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there. And I have fun just kind of checking everything out. So let's go on to the next place. All right, right now I'm over at uh, HEB. Uh, HEB has, uh, this particular HEB has a pretty nice cooking section. And uh, I do see a few, uh, few cast iron fry pans and the likes but what I'm kind of looking for something is something that has a lid because see one of the advantages with a cast iron pot is that you can uh, take it off the stove and put it right into the oven and sometimes it's nice to be able to cover it up too and I don't see any covers on this one so I don't know at least it's an option yeah 20 bucks for a for a 12 inch uh, cast iron fry pan that, that isn't a bad option we'll see if we can find something else at the other places so now I'm seeing things like this but this isn't actually cast iron this is just aluminum but at least has a lid but see it wouldn't work in the uh, in the oven because it's got a plastic handle and that plastic handle will melt so like I said just kind of checking out my options here but uh, that's not gonna do it either obviously all right, on to the next place. Now this next place um, is actually four places. It's kind of an outdoor mall uh, along the intersection of the six and the 35 freeway. And I've been there a bunch of times. And from the beginning, I kind of figured that I'd have the best option to finding something at this place because there's like four different stores that I, I can check out. And one of them has got to have something. They've got a Kohl's, they've got a World Market, they've got a Bed Bath & Beyond, and they've got a Cabela's. And one of them should have something in the line of uh, cast iron cookware. So let's go over to that mall. All right, so here's the World Market. I'm not really sure they'll have anything, but I have seen cookware in there before. Bed Bath & Beyond is right next to it. Cabela's is down there a little bit, and then Kohl's is a little bit further down. So we're gonna hit all four of these places. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, they do have a couple options here. I'm seeing this and uh, this uh, uh, cast iron skillet here. Um, I also saw something, saw something over uh, towards the front of the store. I'll show you that. This is kind of a nice thing too. This is uh, not, not so much a uh, uh, fry pan, but more of like a, a, a large pot. So they got a few options over here we can take a look at. But 
but I want to run over to the other stores and see what they have too, just so I can comparison shop, right? This is kind of a cool thing they have in here. It's a five minute uh, hourglass. Instead of having sand though, it's got uh, little gold pellets in it, which is kind of cool. It's pretty, it's interesting, but not what I'm looking for at the moment. They got all sorts of kind of trippy things here too, so there's another little uh, another little hourglass. Now I'm over in Bed Bath and Beyond and they got this uh, 12 inch skillet, uh, what they call their everyday pan. And even this kind of cool cast iron Dutch oven thing. And these are really good options. In fact, uh, the things up here are actually on sale here, so. The everyday pan is normally almost 40 bucks, it's 30 bucks. The 12 inch skillet is about 25 bucks, it's down to 19 bucks. And it even looks like the Dutch oven is a little bit less, less in price, so. So I really like what I saw at Bed Bath & Beyond. They got uh, a nice selection and also everything there was like on sale. So that's really kind of an attractive option right now. I'm not going to make a decision yet, but I think that's the forerunner right now. But I kind of want to look at Cabela's and Kohl's and see if they have something too. So let's go over there and check them out and uh, see what we get. So I'm over at Cabela's now, and I know probably a lot of people don't think of Cabela's when you think of cooking stuff, but I thought if I went over like into the camping section, you know, I think I oftentimes, you know, make think about uh, cast iron stuff when you're camping, and they do actually have a couple of cast iron uh, pots and things like that, including this uh, kind of all-in-one cast iron starter set, which seems to have a fry pan, like a regular, like your regular pan, and then what looks like a uh, a Dutch oven kind of thing here and that isn't too bad either um, a lot of this seems to be geared more towards camping and stuff like that like maybe cooking on an open fire so I don't know maybe this isn't uh, going to work right now but you know like I said we're just looking at our options we're going to see what's out here yeah and see here's on the other side of it they got all sorts of cast iron stuff here big 15 inch skillets uh there's a lid for a 12 inch uh, skillet, several different uh, fry pan sizes, uh, one off uh, Dutch oven, another Dutch oven kind of thing there. Yeah, like I said, the, these look like they're more geared for putting them in like uh, an open fire and cooking that. Like I said, geared more towards camping, but you know, these are options too. So I don't know, we could consider this. Maybe we'll get a little from Bed Bath & Beyond, a little bit from here. Let's go over to Kohl's though and see what they have, because they're just a couple stores over. All right, I'm actually in Kohl's right now, and I actually figured I'd have a lot of options here, but there really isn't a whole lot here. A couple of little, uh, what, 10 inch skillets, and this big, uh, big 13 inch skillet down here, but that's really all I see here in terms of cast iron stuff. So I think at this point I've kind of made my choice. I'm gonna go back to Bed Bath & Beyond and get that set there. I think that's gonna be the thing for me and uh, that seems like it's got everything I'm gonna want. So let's go back to Bed Bath & Beyond and buy some cookware. So yeah, I elected to go with the Bed Bath & Beyond stuff. Uh, that was just a kind of a superior option. Um, I was actually surprised that I found anything uh, at all at the Cabela's, uh, but it didn't quite have the selection I was looking for, and there really wasn't anything in Kohl's. I was a little disappointed with that. I figured I'd, I figured that would be the place to be. It would between, be between that and Bed Bath & Beyond, but Bed Bath & Beyond was just head and shoulders above. So that's what I went with. Let's go home and I'll show you what I got. So this is a cast iron uh, cooking ware I got. This is a nice big uh, Dutch oven with a nice lid. Uh, very uh, Should be very good for that. A nice 12 inch skillet and what they call an everyday pan. So uh, like I said, the thing that really kind of attracted me to this uh, this set despite the fact that you know it was a good collection of stuff is that it was all on sale and so I probably I paid a little less than a hundred dollars for this and it would have been a hundred and thirty hundred and forty dollars uh, without being on sale so 
I, I think I'm going to be able to do some really good things with this. I'm looking forward to trying it out. It uh, seems to be high quality stuff. And uh, we'll see what kind of uh, interesting concoctions we come up with uh, in this stuff. So uh, stay tuned on that. One other thing, while I was out and about today, I got a telephone call from the guy who's going to do the concrete work on the patio cover. So hopefully we're going to get that going here pretty soon. Uh, it actually turns out he called me a couple times yesterday. I figured it might be him, but uh, I didn't have his telephone number. He didn't leave a voicemail and I didn't know who he was. And so I don't pick up the telephone if I don't know who it is. And if you don't leave a voicemail for me, uh, you know, I'm not going to get back to you. But today he finally left a voicemail, so I know it's him. So I'm going to call him back. I'll add him to my safe list. So if he calls again in the future, it won't be any problems. But you know, a lot of people do that. And you just got to learn today that if you're dealing with somebody that you don't know uh, and you call them and they don't pick up the phone, you know, maybe they, maybe it's just because they don't know you and they don't want to deal with the telemarketers. So I'm going to call that guy back and let's see what happens. So you can tell it's a little windy out here today. Uh, they're predicting gusts up to like 40 miles an hour and this thing is getting its mileage here. So uh, anyway, let's call the guy and let's see what he has to say. All right, so I just got off the phone with the contractor and it looks like he's pretty much ready to go. I think he wants to uh, maybe start as early as middle of next week. So that's perfect. He was saying maybe on Thursday and I was saying, okay, well I work those days, but that's not a problem. I don't have to be here. All I have to do is figure out how I'm gonna get you a key to the gate. So uh, we're gonna get that all worked out and looks like we're gonna get this patio done hopefully in the next week or so. Um, I'm figuring it shouldn't take him too long. It's gonna be probably one day to jackhammer out the old thing and then probably come back the next day and lay the concrete. Uh, so uh, I think it'll work well. Like I said, all I'm gonna have to do is give him the gate key and then he can go from there and uh, he'll be able to open up the gates and I think he wants to bring some equipment back here and he'll easily be able to do that. He'll be able to drive in through through the double gate I have over on that side of the yard and uh, do whatever he needs to do and he'll have everything he needs back here. If he needs water, there's no problem. There's a garden hose there and so hopefully we're going to get this wrapped up really soon. So anyway, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.